Right, guys, so um, I am today just going to show you how to download the software for the Brother Sublimation Printer SP1. So, first of all, you need to go to um, support.brother.com up here, and then you select. I'm going to go for downloads because it is either obviously downloads or. Um, What was the other option? Oh, product search. So yeah, downloads. So here you have under Creative Printer SP, which is a sublimation printer. Click on the SP series. I'm running Windows 11. So I shall click OK. You've got full software package. So you've got the full driver and software package, which is recommended. So I'm going to click on that agree to that and my download has started so that's going to come into my downloads folder and there it is so I shall double click on that click yes And it's having a good think about it there it is okay so now I'm just gonna go through the usual of course reading absolutely everything Um, so I won't bore you with all these details but this is I shall download this software and then I'm going to have a look at printing using the Artspira app and printing using the download software just to see how the images come out and how they differ to see what options are the best and what we can go for so i shall uh, bring you back when i do that next okay guys um i always print from software called minecraft studio i'm presuming you can print from any software you want to use whatever that may be so i've downloaded um from creative fabrica a test wheel basically um and what I'm going to do is print the test wheel just to see out of curiosity what the colours come out like for any other reason basically. So I thought it does every colour. I'll see how bright it prints, printing it from the computer. So to print from the computer, just go print. It brings up the Brother SP1. I'm going to go on to more settings. Obviously, I've never printed using this software before so um i've gone for quality mode rather than speed mode because i'm not i don't think it's that slower print anyway um I'll just check through that right so it's going to mirror print which is really good because obviously it's automatically going to do that for me manual print settings this is obviously i'm not sure if these I know when sometimes you get other printers, you need ICC profiles and with the sawgrass, it automatically does it for you. You tell if it's a photo, etc. and things like that. Um, but I'm just going to do the basic, has, as it's set up, purely for the simple fact that I don't know any other difference. So down on the left-hand side here, it looks like mirror prints on and, and things like that. So I'm going to send that to the printer now in colour portrait mode. And come over with me to the tablet and I shall print off on the tablet as well. Right, I'm going to write on the back which um, image that one is. So that one's sent from the computer. And then when I've printed the one from the Art Spirit app, I shall write on the back of that. And then we shall do some pressing. Okay, so I'm over at my tablet. I've downloaded the same file from Creative Fabrica. So I'm going to create new by clicking on the bottom. Design editor, it comes up with letter. That's the paper size that comes with the printer anyway. I will be changing that to A4 once I start using my own uh, bought papers. Um, and this is the main screen. So if I click on the plus and the camera roll, it brings up the image. Okay, so on the PC, I made it seven inches. I want to do the same with this, just 
give it a fair try a fair trial so both are going to be seven inches print those out so i click on done i don't want to save it because i probably want you this is just a test so don't save and then click on print and that will send it over to my printer like the other one i shall write on the back that this is the the app image and we shall uh, take it from there right guys so i've printed them out this one is the art spirit app and this one is the printer at uh, the pc sorry right i didn't think they were too dissimilar until i've looked really closely now because at a quick glance i'm not quite sure either which one is the correct one as in which one it should be so the pc if you look at this one here that one is it's quite blue this is the app and it's quite pale on this one and then when i go across um and look at that this one's more green than blue now this is the app so i thought this would be the most accurate and this is my software now looking at the actual picture on the tablet the photo it's actually turquoise and then blue so i'm curious as to see how these are going to print out um but yeah there's only one way to find out and that's for me to go over to the heat press for those who haven't done sublimation before when you print it is dull the ink is heat activated so once it's heated that's where you get your brightness from so i am curious to see which one's going to come out of the brighter of the two and the more accurate to the photo on screen i'm going to print on the same t-shirt i got a free t-shirt with the heat press so i'm just going to use that so that it's the same t-shirt same fabric same heat press same time same temperature etc and we shall see how it comes out i'm quite curious now to see uh, how they look so i'll be back in a tick okay so i've got all this set up it's just warming up now so i checked on the art spirit app i've put polyester um because that's what this t-shirt is once it's got a bit warm i'm just going to press that and take the creases out just because it's been in the uh, in a packet i've written on the back for the art spirit app and the pc so that i know which is which and yeah it says 200 degrees c or 390 fahrenheit for 45 seconds so i'm just waiting for this to heat up and then we shall get these pressed right it's all up to heat now 200 degrees 45 i've taped them down just because i want it to be a little surprise when we uh when we take them back off so i'll put my butcher paper over to make sure the image doesn't transfer and we shall and it automatically starts counting down so i've done it for 45 seconds um the pressure i believe is is tight enough i know you can alter the pressure on these machines if you want so yep yeah. see how long how what this looks like once it's uh, once it's done, like I say, it's just a normal, it's just a, pol a polyester t-shirt that came free with the heat press. So, five seconds to go. And that's us done. Ooh. Turn the heat press off. Take those off, that off. Oh, you can tell the backs have changed colour so I shall take this over to my mat over to the craft desk and we shall see how that looks right here we are app PC so we take this bit of tape off first peel for this one for fact it's holding both pieces down she says maybe not Oh, there we go right so this is the app Ooh, first it's not 
really make it easy for me, is it? Right. So, that one's the app. Let's see. How the PC is done. Ah, now then. Oh, didn't check to make sure I put them the right way around, did I? Right, so this is the one, this is the colour that we were looking at on the picture. So this is the Art Spirit app and that, it's just nothing like, is it? Now that is, that's what's, I'm a bit confused. It's the lighter colour that hasn't taken very well. Now this is the PC. And just to be awkward, I've done it upside down, haven't I? So just bear with me a second. Let me spin this round. So again, um, yeah, it's not a turquoisey, a turquoisey blue. I'm not sure. This is the thing with images on screens. You know, the greens and like a, a lime, the lime green isn't like the bright, vivid lime green on that either. I mean, I don't dislike the colours. To be fair, I quite like them colours. So what I think I might do next is print something that I've maybe printed before from my old printer and see how that looks. Um, but yeah, that's, I think that is probably trying to be the turquoise, isn't it, that one? I mean, the screen's always going to be bright at the end of the day. It's a it's a bright screen, isn't it? So, but yeah, I don't dislike those colours. I think I might print again on both with the app and my PC. Something that I I, I have actually got a T-shirt that I've printed previously. I think with an image on, or something that. <laughs> Might sound a bit silly, you know what the colours are going to come out like or should come out like, so you can judge it a little bit more. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Which which colour do you think's right? So the Art Spirit app is more turquoisey than blue, but very pale in comparison to the photo on the app on the screen, the tablet screen. And this is the printer. It's a little bit more blue than it is turquoise. So, yeah, it's um, it's a bit of a strange one. Right, guys, I'm back again. Just a quick one. I've just noticed. Um, the two different files. There was the JPEG and a PNG, and I printed JPEGs on both on the PC and the tablet. I did the JPEG. And if you look at this JPEG image here, the segment at the top is very turquoise and very limey on the greens. But then I've noticed just going through that the PNG file isn't. It's more blue and then it goes into turquoise and greens to the left. I did JPEG on both the PC and the tablet to make it fair. But I've just looked on the PC and had I done PNG, there'd have been ex the, the PNG and the JPEG on the PC are exactly the same. It's just the tablet that are different. So had I printed the PNG, I think it would have been exactly the same as the PC image, which I find very hard to explain because I don't I'm not particularly technically minded. But for anybody that does know and wants to and, and can share the reason for that, I'd love to know it. Um 
but yeah so basically in that case and if, if that was the case just looking at the colors of the two files had i printed the png i think they'd have both come out exactly the same in which case either one would be good to print from but yeah i just thought i'd come back with that because it it confused me a little bit when i was just looking at the two files on the tablet right guys i've just come back to my pc because obviously i was showing you the tablet image of the uh, color circle color wheel i've come back to my computer and looked at the image on my computer screen which is what you're looking at now and that is the blue that i was focusing on now looking on the t-shirt the printer setting is exactly the same colors as what's on this screen here the one printed from the app isn't really like the computer screen and it isn't really like the photo on the screen either so out of the two I'm liking the computer which to be fair is probably easier for me to use a PC to print from I am going to do more tests just to see the colour difference and, and give the app a, a chance as well because there'll be some images on there that I do like as well that I would probably want to print um but yeah I just thought I'd come back and, and I, I never thought to look at the PC so I thought I'd come back and show you this image again because this one is a lot more like the one on the t-shirt and I do like the fact that that matches because then you know what you're getting don't you but yeah anyway that's it for today um unless like i say but it will be a, a different video or maybe even a short if i do do a different one um like subscribe comments um all welcome thank you very much for watching and i shall see you on the next one take care bye for now